welcome back to the channel and you can see this one is the pmt6 pmt75 and this is going to be the tear down video as you can see in the last from the last video it has two usb c ports and two usb a ports one is maximum of 15 another one is maximum of 22.5 watts you can see here and these of both ports can supply a maximum of 280 watts compared to the last pmt60 which was i guess plagued with heating issues the new one is a little bit bigger a bit more capacity and it has fans inside so we will see the construction seems to be the same like the pmt61 yeah where the back side can be pried up and you can see here it is and if you can see there is some screw so i will take it out and then we'll come back again so I have pried from the side and it has one, two, three, four, five, six screws. So let us open it. And the last one. And it should be able to come out and now the whole package ah no it will not now i remember this side also needs to be pried open okay so this thing can also be pried open and the last one the locking mechanism should be here somewhere i'm trying not to deform it but maybe it may work without deforming it And this one also has one, two, three, four screws. So let's also take them out. One, two, three, and the fourth one. So, noise. And here you can see there is some cables. And yeah, this seems to be nicely. connected i think these are the fans so i will take them first out the first fan is gone the second fan is gone and you can see here this one is connected with an x60 connector And the fan is gone, then the light connectors. It is good that they have marked that this one is the black one, if you can see. This one is the black, so both connectors are almost the same size, but not the same. But still, it's a good security feature, I would say. And let's take out the display now. Okay, so one XT60 connector is there, and if I can read anything, C30C PD is for second channel, I would say. The MOSFETs. And to begin ductors, that's how it can work with both the channels. Let's see what kind of chips chipset they are using. So 
so i have unscrewed everything hopefully it will come out without any resistance and so it does so the chipset you can't read out if you can but there are two one and two I will try to read it. So I have I zoomed it and you can see it is readable. Readable it says South Chip SC 88150D and the another one is C020K and the another one is SC 8815 okay so if i have read it correctly then those are the chipsets and now it is the time to check for the battery okay so again as with the same one or the previous one pmt60 the uh, handle lock needs to be come out and uh, then only uh, the battery pack can come out so I will take it out so this is out and I needed a lot of screws screwdrivers but this thing is out it had four front screws and four back screws here we can see the BMS and let's see um, how much voltage is there I will set it to and it should be visible now or not okay so plus and minus 16.72 it means it seems to be a, a 4s configuration but that doesn't seem to be correct one because these are LFP batteries and if it is LFP battery then 3.65 volt is the maximum what one battery would have so it has more than four batteries I would say five batteries or six I think it has 5s configuration to find out I will have to take out the battery inner battery compartment so let's see wait a moment so it is completely soaked with the glue but as we can see and how many batteries as correctly guessed five batteries are there one two three four five what kind of battery or what number it's not easy to find out I will try to see the number oh, it is difficult to take it out but we can see here it says 3.2 volt and I will try to find out a comparable number you can see here that it is in 5s configuration and one temperature sensor and a lot of gobs blue 
where the numbers are not visible. Okay, so it seems to me that these are uh, 15 AH LFP batteries. Manufacturer is probably CPAK. Maybe you guys can find out. But from the color and the cover, it seems that it is manufactured by CBAK. So now I will put it together and hopefully it will work. Thanks for watching and uh, like, subscribe and we will see you with another video next time where one of my soil source has become defective in the DC side or my Z Flip 5 the screen is damaged. So either one of these I will upload. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.